So remember last week where I said I didn't want to talk about religion? Honest to vlog. So as you may or may not know, I'm Jewish. In Judaism, there's this thing called the High Holidays. They happen every year, one right after the other, with about a week in between. The High Holidays are probably the most important holidays in Judaism. The first High Holiday is called Rosh Hashanah. It's the Jewish New Year, but it's not like New Year's Eve where you like party it up. It's more like, a year has passed, let's sit and pray and eat apples and honey. And then there's Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur literally means Day of Atonement. It involves fasting. Although I was formally raised Jewish, both my parents are Jewish, I went to Hebrew school as a kid, and I had a bat mitzvah when I turned 13, I've never been sure about whether or not I believe in God. And it's never been forced upon me to believe. It's not something that my parents always talked about. In fact, my father is extremely atheist and is only culturally Jewish. He would come with us to synagogue sometimes, but other than that, he makes it pretty clear that he thinks that religion is the opiate of the masses. My mother, on the other hand, sees good things in religion, such as community, and she thinks it's nice to have someplace familiar wherever you go, like a synagogue. So she always made my sister and I go to shul with her on the high holidays at least. She didn't mind if I read Harry Potter while, during the service, though, which I did. I've always felt that Judaism was more about family than religion. It wasn't like I was celebrating a holiday because the Torah commanded me to do so. I was celebrating a holiday because all of my ancestors celebrated that exact same holiday on that same day years and years ago before I, the thought of me even existed. And I like the idea of having that connection to my past. But at the same time, religion, something about it rubs me the wrong way. A lot of wars have been caused by religion. A lot of violence is the result of religion. People do crazy things for religion. But then again, maybe people would do crazy things anyway, because people are crazy, and just because they're doing it in the name of religion doesn't mean they wouldn't do it if religion didn't exist. And then there's that whole God thing. I just, I can't get my head wrapped around that. When I was in high school, I read this story by Borges. It was about this man who dreamed a man, and then that man became a reality. And then at the end, he realizes that he, too, is but a dream. And isn't that what we all are? Dreams created by each other. Before you're born, the idea of you was just an idea. And then you're dreamed into reality, and you're around for a while, and, and then you die, and then people continue to dream you. And it kind of works the same way with God. If you believe in God, then you believe that God dreamed up humanity and dreamed us into existence. It's all well and good, but if we didn't dream of God too, then God really wouldn't exist. But we make God real by believing in God. Just the same way that by dreaming of us, God made us real, if you believe that. So here's the deal. There are so many bad, unfair things in the world that I kind of think that if God exists, God is a total asshole. I don't want to believe in God because by believing in God, I make God real. So if I believe in God, I have to believe in the God that's an asshole, and I don't want to bring any more negativity into the world. This year was the first year that I wasn't going home for the high holidays, and I couldn't figure out whether or not I was going to go to synagogue. But I felt like I had to choose between class and synagogue. The whole thing was making me really upset. So I talked to my RA. He said, it's really, it's a very simple decision of whether or not you're going to celebrate Rosh Hashanah this year, I realized that for some reason, I had to go to services. And I'm really glad I did. See, the things that I get out of religion aren't really religious. They're more secular. I get a feeling of familiarity. I know the words, I know the songs. Things sound familiar. They feel like home. Fasting on Yom Kippur helps me reflect on who I am and if I am the person I want to be and how I can better be the person I want to be. And celebrating Rosh Hashanah helps me think back on the previous year and look forward to the new year and think about all the changes that are going on in my life. Yom Kippur starts tomorrow night. As a result, there are a lot of things that I can't do this weekend. I am missing a awesome, awesome YouTube gathering in Central PA that I already have my bus ticket to. And I've been going around today being like, ugh, why do I have to be observant? God, it's so annoying. Stupid religion. I don't even believe in religion. Why am I participating in it? You know why I'm participating in it. Reflection. Community. Tradition. 
connection, family, and my identity.